Yeah, false sweat. I knew that was there. Whoa. Um, just so everyone gets the idea, I don't like Charizard the most. I actually like him the least out of the uh, three starters. But, or Charmander and Charizard altogether. And he is very overhyped, but that's not the reason. It's just I don't like him as much. I think he's kind of a glass cannon in a way. So, I just picked him because of the role. I don't want anyone to complain. Because we agreed to this. Don't want to hear your bullshit. And everyone chose fucking Charmander when they were young. I happened to pick fucking Bulbasaur because he was better. And now I'm regretting my decision. So I will uh, be able to see them soon then? Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. The potential to kick your buns. Bun kick. Oh, you received a Pokedex from the professor then. How wonderful. That is a wonderful thing indeed. You are, th you are one of the chosen ones. I am Lysander. I try. Okay. I try to learn as much about Pokemon as I can help as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. I see you have a Holocaust. Knowledge is power, after all. Put it to good use. Now listen. It is a. It is vital that this world become a better place, and the people and Pokemon chosen to make the, this world better must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. While I'll be off, please give Professor Sycamore my best. My desire. It is for a more beautiful world, and nothing less. I will murder everyone. <clears throat> Sorry. Could you come over here for a second? Sure, yo. You do have titties, and titties do rule the world, so... Yeah. Oh, it's Lysander, and is that Diantha? Just so you know, neighbor, Lysander is head of Lysander Labs, which created the Holocaster, a video messaging device. You already know who Diantha is, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. She's got fucking great eyebrows as well. The eyebrow game is so strong in this. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be ever beautiful? This guy's fucked up and weird, man. Anyway, everything beautiful should stay that way forever. I would make this world unchanging and eternal, so all beauty will last forever. I can't stand the thought of the world becoming uglier. Oh, hello, Dylan. This is Diantha, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves the multitudes with her ex uh, excellent acting. I can't fucking. I almost said egg salad. Her egg salad acting. She acts amazingly as the salad made of eggs on the silver screen. Which is to say she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if, if only everyone were like her. What a beautiful world this would be. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. I gotta go jack off to the thought of this conversation. Fuck, I'm so hard. And who are you two? My name's Serena, and this is... Dylan, right? She fucking knows. She's psychic or some shit. Yeah. Anyway. I heard Lysander call you that. You both have lovely names. Oh, and you're both Pokemon trainers, too? Though your Pokemon look so happy. I'm a trainer myself in my off time. I look forward to us battling someday. Spoiler alert, she's the champion of Kalos, also. Uh. Excuse me. Uh. Excuse me again. That one was on purpose. I guess if you're a Pokemon trainer, you battle everyone, no matter who they are. Oh, that's right, I have something to ask you. Will you be willing to compete with me to see which one of us will become stronger? I know we set off on our journey just after you arrived in Vanoville, but we are neighbors, and I think it would be fun to have a competition with you. Just so you know, I won't lose, though. You fucking better lose, because I'll lose all my po fucking Pokemon forever. Hey, what's up, dude? Okay, so grind time. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, and now we're gonna see if we can be admitted into this cafe. Or this restaurant. I'd like to dine. Double battle meal. Fuck. Oh, I can't afford it. Never mind. Alright, let's go. We're going to this route over here. I think it's route 5. Uh, yeah. Alright. Ooh, a hello clip received. Hello, friend. So ch Oh, shit. I can move it around. Yo! Look at this interaction. This immersion. So check this out, I'm on Route 5 right now, it's just hopping with wild Pokemon, hurry and come check it out. Alright yo, I'm on my way. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, 
Excuse me, again. Alright, a new route, a new Pokemon. I hope you guys are ready. Oh shit, this guy. No, get away. By the way, uh, I didn't have this written down in my rules, or I didn't put it in the rules video, but no O powers. Cause fuck. It's just essentially sending your friends cheating. And I'd prefer if I didn't use that. I do like- oh shit! I do like this music in the, uh, in the, the gateways there. Yo, Lucario! What's up, yo? What's up? Car. And then a car just fucking runs us both over and we're dead. Wait, Lucario! Oh shit, she rollerblades. Sorry about that, are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Car. Another car runs us all over. Huh? Well, it seems Lucario likes you. Uh... Thanks. <laughs> See, Lucario can read people's auras. And I guess something in your aura... In your aura... Something in your areola has made this one take a liking to a stranger. Okay. This Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with my other one, though. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer who appears strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry, I was on such a roll. I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shalur City Gym Leader. If you're collecting badges, or gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Get it? Because she's a fighting type gym leader and she has rollerblades. So it's like roll and punch is... You get it? <laughs> anyway, Ariola. <clears throat> Hello, tiny people. People say we're like two peas in a pod. They say we're like two halves of a hole. They're just like literally half a person. They're just cut in half down the middle. They're just like... <laughs> Oh, probably a good idea to put Fidget out here. Go, Smog and Fidget! This is our first double battle and I'm excited. Hopefully we don't die. As long as we don't accidentally do a triple battle, because those are too much to take care of, or to pay attention to. Uh, and they scare me, frankly. So, we're just going to try to kill these as quickly as they can, because their main thing is they get power up when they're together. So, as long as we can kill them, murder, just endless, endless murder, then we should be okay. Come on, guys. Oh. Disappointing. I thought we were gonna get a, a one turn KO. Alright. Same thing. Let's keep it going here. Eh. Hey, get away from my smog. Do not do that. You're hurting him. He's gonna be a dragon, he's gonna fucking set you all on fire, like, forever, you know? You know how this is gonna go? That's how... That's how payback works, right? You better learn about it. Yo, level 15! Nice, nice. Yo, level 15! That's a lot of XP for a fucking... tiny mouse Pokemon. Okay. Good job, fellas. Now we just gotta kill this one. Oh, God. Oh, good. More attack lowering. It's exactly what I like to hear. So, the obvious counter to someone lowering your attack is using a special attack. Super hot fire! And gust. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad they're not using thunder attacks, or I would be pretty upset, honestly. <clears throat> Oops. There we go. Ah. Okay, now the the tag teaming mouses mices is, have been taken care of. Their deaths will be in vain. <clears throat> also, my laptop's being loud again. Sorry about that. Oh, Tierno, do you ever think of anything except for dancing? Fuck, man. Pissing me off. Nope, even during Pokemon battles, I'm always checking out their moves in their asses. <sighs> and then my feet just start moving too. I can't help it, you know? Just like with Swords Dance. I love it. That's why I can never win. Oh, dude, I'll fight you if you can never win. Do your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me in battle. I'm glad he prefaced his challenge with, I never win. 
Dude, I want that t-shirt. Like, actually. <laughs> if, if I ever do open up a P.O. box, feel free to send me that t-shirt. Like, thousands of them. Alright, let's murder this corefish. Start off with Swords Dance. Ching! Oh shit, he's got the same strats as me. That's alright, I'm still gonna win. <clears throat> and ba boom! Oh, so close. Oh jeez. Oh fuck. Okay. Whew, that was scary. You're dead, Tierno! Look at what you got. A dead corefish. He's just splattered all over the wall. I'm gonna make some lobster bisque! Sorry. <clears throat> That was some nice footwork. Also, I can't have lobster bisque because it has milk in it, unfortunately. It's very creamy. Good to see you, Dylan. Oh, excuse me, I meant Dylan. That's fucking right! You learned your place! Trevor. Sorry. <clears throat> Trevs. <sighs> it really does seem as though Tiano can only be think about dancing and moves. When a horde of Pokemon popped out, he just stood there watching them. Well, yeah, Trevs! Coming out with the world's best dance, Pokemon dance is my dream after all. I was born to dance, I won't ever stop. Not with moves like this, now I'm gonna pop. It just explodes everywhere. <clears throat> Sorry, that was my little rap for the for the evening. That's indeed a perfect dream for you, Tierno. Anyway, uh, my real dream of completing the Pokedex is uh, much more serious than yours. Do you take this honey, won't you? I already have honey, I found it in the secret maze. Did you guys not go there? No. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, you're a motherfucker, aren't you? Sorry, I'm losing my mind a little bit. Okay, so we're probably gonna get the Pokemon here. If not, that would be pretty cool, because then we can go even farther up the route without catching a Pokemon. But all right, let's move on. Oh, first Pokemon. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Pancham, I guess. I assume. Oh, another Bunnelby. So, um, since this is the first time it's popped up, or it's uh. Whatever. <laughs> uh, the duplicates clause, if you guys remember, um, states that if we encounter a Pokemon that we've already seen before, which is very conveniently shown in the top right, it's gone now, but they'll have a Pokemon next to their name, then we can uh, fight another Pokemon. So we have a second chance, essentially. So I can just walk past this. Hey, what's up, dude? Fight me. I haven't been able to sleep very well for days. I don't know if I'm up for a battle. Wow, that's very encouraging. Okay. Rising Star Hamish. That's a good name. Very interesting. Oh, perfect! I can use a knockoff and just destroy this thing. Or I can use Fury Cutter, because that is a physical move as well. Um, I'll go for a knockoff and see if I can one-hit KO it. Oh, oh, good. That was scary. Yo! Killed a Kadabra in one hit! Uh, Kadabra is also a very good um, uh, example of a glass cannon. I should say, because super hard hitter, but really weak. <laughs> oh, you gotta get some sleep. Why don't you just make your cadaver use hypnosis on you, bro? Seems like the easy fix, huh? Wait a second, did I just notice something weird? Oh, I'll never be able to see it now. Um, I think when the Bunnelby was attacking, like, the little pink part of the ear, like, got smaller. That was really weird. Oh, Skiddo! Yeah, I love Skiddo. So cute. I wish I had a Skiddo. Let's see if we can get one. I think you can actually get one on this route, so if we do, that would be awesome. A good replacement for the fact that I don't... Or I didn't get the Bulbasaur. This might get a little hairy if I don't kill him in this turn. Ooh, okay. Because he did boost, like, twice. So, that gets scary. Yay! Defeated Roller Skater, Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. The rules of a Pokemon battle are simple. You see, rule one, battle. Rule two, win. Well, you're about to break rule number two. Uh, roller skater Florin. Ha <laughs> ha. I burped. Oh, shit. Dodrio. Or Doduo. Doduo's cool. I like that it can learn fly. It just, like, rotates its head like a helicopter. Um... Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll just use double slap. Just lame it out. Double slap style. <clears throat> oh no, no, pick. Eh. Well, that did a little bit more than I thought it would. 
That's alright, we'll still win this. Ba-boom! Come on, one more! Yeah! Good job, Obi. And a crit! That's awesome. Aw, oh, man. I wanted Obi to level up. One of these days... I might just use Smug. Fuck it. Hopefully he doesn't hit me with a hard poison attack or I will be sad. Fucking Oddish poisons me and uses Venoshock. Double damage. Oh no, he did it. He killed me. Okay. Ember time. Oh, dude, boom. Boom shakalaka. And the battle is ours. GG roller skate. No, he's a rising star, I think. I don't remember. He's a something. Oh shit, guys, I think we're gonna have a first evolution. Or is it level 17? I can't remember. Um. Ooh, constant 40 damage. Doesn't sound bad early on. <clears throat> is it gonna happen? Oh yes! First evolution! Smog is evolving! Yo! Your smog evolved into Charmeleons! Yes! Yeah! I'm so proud! Look at this little guy. Smog! He's even got Dragon Rage! It totally makes sense now. Alright, that's awesome! Rule 34 for me? Yes! Make it! Make it happen! I want it to happen. I'm Ooh, this guy is looking for a battle. I can smell it on him. <clears throat> Bring it, bro. You look like a seasoned traveler, I bet you're good bound too! When are we gonna catch another Pokemon? Very soon. Don't you worry, chat. Don't you worry. <clears throat> oh shit, Sentret? I love Sentret. But OB is gonna kill it. Sentret is like one of the cutest, like, early, early game Pokemon ever. Like, you know how Rattata, um... I would say, I would say Sentret is like the, uh the Rattata of Gen 2, and even though there is Rattata in Gen 2, but I, ugh, it's so cute. I love it. I think its arms are cute, its big tail, how it stands on it is cute. It's just cute. You're gonna die so hard, Sentry. You're gonna die so hard, you won't even be able to, you will not even be able to think. You'll just be flung into space. You'll be immortal in space, and you won't be able to move. You can't change your trajectory. You'll just be floating there like cars. Sorry, what's up? <clears throat> hey, I'll be level 15. Oh, yes, takedown. Actually, no, that's horrible. I don't want to have recoil damage. But I might have it just for a powerhouse attack. Like, if I ever want to do just do a lot of damage. I think I'm going to replace double slot. It's not doing as well as I thought it would. Ooh, I'll skip over that for now. Oh, shit, a guy! Hi, wanna know why I always wear shorts when I walk through tall grass? Alright, hopefully Jiraiya can kill it quickly. Cause I don't wanna deal with this shit. Not today. Alright, start with a growl, just in case. Just in case. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That is too much, we'll get out of here. Um... How about we throw Bushido out? And another. Excuse me, holy shit! Blech. Sorry, this is the point of the stream where I just kind of lose my mind. Oh, hey, drag to level 15, yeah! Because they're so comfy and easy to wear! Yes! Oh, I love it. I love that. Oh, it's beautiful. Great line, great line. Oh, whenever someone says something is comfortable and easy to wear, I just... 
Oh, 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 o